this little U-shaped bone here is called the hyoid bone. And above the hyoid bone, we've got this group of muscles called the suprahyoid muscles, which all work together to elevate the hyoid bone. And then below the hyoid bone, we have another group of muscles called the infrahyoid muscles, which all work together to depress the hyoid bone. And because the hyoid bone is connected via a ligament to this structure here, which is one of the cartilages of our larynx, also known as our voice box. When we elevate and depress our hyoid, we also elevate and depress the voice box, which helps us close off our airway while we're swallowing and also helps change the pitch of our voice as we're speaking. So in the suprahyoid group, we have a muscle called the digastric muscle, which has an anterior belly and a posterior belly. And that's why it's the digastric, because digastric is two bellies. So the anterior digastric is going from the tip of your chin and then diagonally backwards to where it connects to the hyoid. And then the posterior digastric is attached to the anterior digastric in the middle, and it is going from the hyoid backwards to the mastoid process behind your ear. And then in front of the posterior belly of the digastric, you can see another suprahyoid muscle here. This is the stylohyoid, named that because it goes from your styloid process to your hyoid bone. And then if we look Underneath the anterior belly of the digastric, we can see this very broad, flat muscle that kind of runs along the inside of your chin and then goes diagonally towards your midline. This is the mylohyoid. Now remember, as far as muscles go, you are symmetrical. So if you have it on the left, you have it on the right. But most muscle models, they peel away a layer to show you the deep layer of muscles, and that's what we're seeing here. So underneath the mylohyoid, which goes diagonally, there's this muscle, which is the geniohyoid. So it goes right from the inside of the point of your chin straight back to the hyoid. And then as I said before, all of these muscles as a group are going to elevate the hyoid. But if the infrahyoid muscles are locking that hyoid into place and preventing it from moving, some of those muscles can also depress the mandible. And as far as which of them depress the mandible, um, I know at my school, we only state that the anterior belly of the digastric depresses the mandible, but I know different resources say different things. And then moving on to the infrahyoid muscles, there's this one here going from the hyoid down to your sternum. That's why they named it the sternohyoid. And then immediately next to it, there's this one here that's kind of going off to your shoulder. That is the omohyoid, because omo is related to the shoulder, but I've never seen it anywhere except omohyoid. Um, but that omohyoid has this, which is the superior belly of the omohyoid, and this, which is the inferior belly of the omohyoid. And then below that, we can see one of our deeper muscles kind of peeking out. It is going from your hyoid to this cartilage of your voice box, which is called the thyroid cartilage. And that is why it is called the thyrohyoid. And we can see that a little bit better on this side of the model where 
they peeled away the omohyoid for us. Thyrohyoid. And then last but not least, on this model, they didn't include it, but going from the thyroid cartilage down to your sternum, you have the sternothyroid. And then just so you can see what that actually looks like, here's our superior and inferior omohyoid, right underneath it, your hyothyroid, and then here is that sternothyroid. All right, so that's all I have to say about supra and infrahyoid muscles. Please let me know if you have any questions. If I'm able to answer them, I will. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.